item. Uh, we're, we're taking a look at a cinema that needs to have enough popcorn seed in order to make popcorn. And uh, the interesting thing here is that movies typically make all of their money, movie theaters that is, on the concessions. So not having popcorn seed is a huge issue. So they typically break even on the movie tickets and then the profit is the uh, food, the concession stand. Um, I learned that when my sister managed a movie uh, house for a long time. There are much better things to do with your life. But anyways, um, I, I want to draw your attention to these icons here. This is going to get you a four func or five function calculator, and this is a scientific calculator. A scientific calculator can do exponents and stuff like that, um, square roots. But we're not going to need that in here. But this tells me that I am allowed to use a calculator. So I'm going to pull up a calculator. I'm going to use it freely since I know this is a calculator problem. So here we go. It says the main street cinema gets food delivery every Friday morning. On Thursday, Hannah checks the computer to determine what to order for the next week. The computer shows the amount of popcorn seed and boxes remaining at the end of each day. All right, it has a nice chart. Before I really delve into that chart, I'm going to take a closer look at what the question is asking. Sales Sunday through Thursday are relatively consistent. In other words, they don't change a whole lot. Friday and Saturday are busier days. And on each of those days, they sell between 200 and 300 large boxes of popcorn. On Friday and Saturday, they also sell about twice as many small medium boxes of popcorn as they do on the other days. She also knows that one third of a cup of popcorn seed makes eight cups of popcorn. And she must buy enough popcorn seed to last until, presumably the next Friday, let's go check. Until, and that is absolutely nothing. Okay, here we go until the next delivery of the Friday. Estimate the amount of popcorn seed that Hannah should order this Friday so that there will be between 100 and 200 cups of popcorn seed remaining next Friday morning. Show or explain your reasoning you use to determine your estimate. Now, everything I write, I would have to type in. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to note that they talk about cups, right? And the cups of seed, and I know from experience that a cup of seed is not going to be a cup of popcorn because the popcorn expands. So the first thing I want to do is I, I notice that one third of a cup of popcorn makes eight cups of pop popcorn. So that means one cup of seed is going to equal 24 cups of popcorn. And I know that because a third of a cup, well I want a whole cup, so there's three thirds. Three times eight is 24. So I know that one cup of seed is going to make 24 cups of popcorn. So, great. I know that a large box has 20 cups of pop to popcorn. A medium box has 16 cups and a small box has 11 cups. So. I'm going to have to figure out how many cups of popcorn I need, and then I need to convert it into cups of seed. So at the end of the, oh, this whole thing, I'm going to have to divide by 24. All right, <coughs> so we're given the typical, that looks better. We we're given the typical uh, sales, really, for five days. So what I want to do first is I want to know how many large boxes I sell on average for the first five days. And so I look here, so I started with 818 uh, boxes and I sold and I, and I ended with 638 boxes. So that means over those five days I sold uh, 108 or 180 boxes of large large boxes of popcorn. So in those five days, that's 180 boxes. Each box has 20 cups. And so that is a grand total of, that's a lot, 3,600 cups of popcorn. And I'll make that a little bit easier to read for you at home. All right, so then, 
the next thing I'm going to do is let's just figure out how much I sold in medium boxes. So I started with 539. I forgot what a comma. I thought. I forgot a comma. Is that better? Okay. So then I started with 539 and I ended with 472. So that means I sold 67 boxes times 16 cups. So that means in that five day period, I sold 1,000, there's the comma, 72 cups of popcorn. And then for the small box, I started with 581 and I ended with 464. So I sold 117 boxes, each box holds 11. So multiply it by 11. And so I get 1,287 cups of popcorn. And so that is all um, what I sold over the course of the week. But I also have to take into account Saturday and Sunday, or Friday and Saturday. And so on each of Friday and Saturday, I sell between 200 and 300 large boxes. I would hate to not have enough. So personally, I would say, I need enough for my 300 boxes per day. So that's an additional 600 boxes. So this is for the week. And then let's have the weekend. And so for the large box, I'm going to go with 600 boxes. That is a lot, times 20. So 600 times 20. Oh my goodness, that's 12,000 cups of, of popcorn. Can you imagine having to sell that much popcorn? Yikes. Um, <coughs> now the, the medium and small boxes are a little bit more tricky because we're about twice. So I'm going back up here and I was selling 67 boxes in the course of five days. And so that's an average of 13 and a half. Let's say that's 13 and a half boxes. So it's, I'm going to double that. So that means each day over the weekend, I'm selling, let's, let's call it 27 boxes. So if I'm sell, selling 27 boxes in one day, in two days, I'm going to sell 54 boxes, 54 times 16. is 864 cups of popcorn. Can you imagine eating that much popcorn on you? Ugh, she stuck her tongue out at that. I would too. Um, for the small boxes, we sold 117 boxes over the course of five days. So on average, that's 23. So I'm going to sell double that for each day, times two, any time now. And then I have two days, Friday and Saturday. So I'm going to sell, I'm going to round that to 94. 94 boxes <coughs> times the 11. 94 times 11, because I can't guess on you. Oh my goodness, an egg and vinegar. That's going to be totally fun. <laughs> you got to love the random notes in this video. So that is 1,034 cups. So that means for the entire week, I'm going to have to s have enough popcorn on hand to sell that much, all of those together. So let's go ahead and do that. So I already have this one. So, so I don't get lost. I'm going to check it off when I have it typed in the calculator. Plus 8, that's a 6. 864. Got it. Plus. 12,000. I wonder if those 12,000 people are, are putting butter in like the, the guys on Dude Perfect. That would be nasty. All right. <coughs> so then I'm going to also add the 1,287 for the small boxes during the week. 
I'm also going to add in the 1072 medium boxes during the week. And finally, I have the large boxes during the week of 3,600, or not boxes, cups. So that means for the course of the week, I am selling roughly 19,857 <laughs> cups of popcorn. But how many cups of seed is that? And I also have to take into account my deficit here. So <coughs> since I'm at, let's just call it 70, I need another 30, right? I need another 30 cups of, of seed to get back to 100, right? So let's go ahead and let's figure out how many cups of seed this is. And then I'm going to have to add in that 30 just to make sure I get to my surplus of 100 cups of seed just in case. So we have 19,857. I'm going to divide it by my 24 cups uh, of popcorn for cups of seed. Oh, and I divide it by myself. All right, 19,857 divided by 24. Oh my goodness. So that means I go through 800. 27, say 0.4 cups of seed plus my 30. And so, you know what I would do? And because I need to have a surplus of at least 100, I would say that we need to have ordered nine, uh, at least 860. <coughs> cups of seed. That is a lot of cups of seed. Oh my goodness. Obviously, since it's an estimate and there's a range for your surplus, there are going to be alternative answers, but <coughs> I think that one would suffice. <coughs>